Someone's a little upset because they feel like you're closed off. Someone feels like they need to give some type of apology. Someone feels like they need to appease to you in some type of way. As they know they're the reason you're at a distance, closed off. But I also feel there's some type of expectation. Because someone threw something away. As if it meant nothing. This relates to a relationship where someone has some very toxic energy. This is someone who is very inconsistent, unreliable, always doing something from a space that causes you to have more questions than answers. I feel someone threw something away as if it meant nothing, wanting you to react in some type of way. I feel like someone is a little bit thrown off by the fact that you're at a distance, close up. Especially when it comes to a relationship or a connection you want to add. Wow. So there is a sense of someone wanting to reach out or make some type of plea. But there is hesitation. Someone wants to hang out, but they also know they didn't appreciate you. This is someone who breadcrumbed a situation, a connection, a relationship. Wow. Where I sense someone made a lot of mistakes when it comes to how they chose to disconnect or throw something away. Mm. Someone's thinking about how they chose to play a situation. Something may have gotten out of hand and someone is thinking about what they need to clean up with you. They want to hang out. They want to reach out. Mm. I feel like this is someone who is in a space where they didn't see you closing your energy off or taking your energy back. This could be soul snatching for someone who really didn't expect that. Mm. Someone wants you to feel like they have good intentions. But for many of you, I sense this is someone who just broke the trust. Wow. Someone broke the trust within a relationship. Someone broke the trust within a relationship and through their insecurities, they took something away or they didn't make the effort. Hmm. Someone didn't make the effort and I feel someone knows the very reason you're closed off or at a distance. I feel this is someone who betrayed the trust or break harm during a situation and many of you just don't feel appreciated. This is someone who knows they breadcrumbed you or didn't put in the full effort when it comes to a relationship. Someone knows they breadcrumbed you, but they also want to reach out. They feel like you're going to throw something in their face. They just don't want to beg for something. Someone's really attached to ego and insecurities, fuckboy energy. Someone knows they broke the trust through betrayal. This is someone who wants to reach out. Someone who wants to know what you're doing, what you're up to. This is someone who wants to make some type of phone call, but they're insecure because of a betrayal. They know they broke the trust or you moved on because of their disrespect. Someone definitely stepped on the situation by throwing shade or being unlawful. This is someone who has anxiety, an anxious mindset. Someone has an anxious mindset when it comes to the disrespect. This is someone who wants to reach out, wants to know what you're doing, but they also know they took a big risk by trying to move on or throwing shade at you. This is someone who could be walking on edge shells. Someone may feel like something may be a sensitive subject for you, but I feel someone's walking on egg shells because they couldn't make a decision when it comes to a confession or a space of guilt. You're not speaking because many of you are no longer interested. I feel like this is driving them crazy because they feel blocked. Mm. Wow. So it seems like you're not speaking because someone is yet to apologize or you feel like someone is yet to be sorry. This is someone who doesn't have a lot of guilt, but I feel the fact that you are not interested has driven them crazy. They're wanting to take a risk because they don't like the fact that they're blocked. I feel this is someone who's walking on eggshells because they know they need to make a decision, but they're still sitting in this very reckless energy where you being closed off may be necessary.
Someone knows they got caught. Someone's trying to drive you crazy by blocking you or being relentless with their toxic behavior, but I feel they're also shocked that they didn't drive you crazy or they're shocked that they're no longer getting validation. Hmm. So it seems like someone wants to make something a misunderstanding. Someone's shocked that you're no longer interested and they have an anxious mindset to just apologize to you to make something right. Someone wants some type of leverage or they're trying to figure out a way to make something too overbearing to deal with. Someone could also be trying to use time to heal this pain that they know they have caused you. This is a sense of trauma bonding. Someone wants you to feel like they have good intentions within the situation. They want you to feel like... Let me get this card. They want you to feel like there's a misunderstanding and they're wanting to cling to your energy again. Someone is wanting you to validate a situation and they're just wanting to admit something just to get you to let your guard down or even let them back in. But someone is still sitting in some very cheating or reckless ways. Someone is definitely shocked at the fact that you closed off, or I feel like someone is really shocked at the fact that you were true to your word, and you blocked them. Someone who used to cling to you in a very strange way, or didn't see you for who you were, is very shocked at the fact that you put them in their place, or you're standing strong on your word. For many of you, someone didn't expect you to honor something. I feel like you told this person the truth and they just didn't hear you out or someone didn't believe that you would block or take your power back, cut them off, cut your ties or cut your losses. One more card here. Yeah. This is someone who never thought that you would push them away or reject them. This is someone who thought that you would never put them in a position to choose. Hmm. Someone thought that they would always be chosen, but I feel this is someone who has a, a fear of letting go, a fear of commitment, a fear of giving in too soon. Someone has a fear of the process, of being rooted in values, life, and legacy. Someone is just not taking something seriously, so they're wanting something to be perceived as a misunderstanding. But I feel someone having a fear of commitment and walking on eggshells, not making a real decision here. Someone's going to block themselves from your energy just by trying to create some type of storm or manipulate some facts here. Someone needs to come to terms with the truth. Someone needs to come to terms with the truth before they try to reconnect with you. But I feel this guilt is starting to weigh heavy. And for many of you, the curiosity of wanting to know what you're doing is definitely going to eat away at them. Because if you have blocked this energy or there's been some distance or some time that has passed, someone's going to reach out. This is someone who's going to reach out unexpectedly. This is someone who is about to make a decision that just might drive you crazy or... Someone's about to make a decision that ends in a space that doesn't match up to what they thought would happen. I feel like this is someone who wants to reach out to you and create some type of scenario of a misunderstanding because of their fears. But the fact that you may not be interested and they feel blocked, someone is wanting something to be validated. Someone wants you to validate their emotions, their thoughts, their feelings. And to do that, they feel like they're just going to have to apologize. Take one for the team or just say whatever it is to appease you. But I feel in doing so, someone's going to go the other way or someone's going to cause something to come out in a space where it doesn't work out in their favor. It, may, it just might be a bit shocking. But whatever the case, someone's about to take a risk out of insecurity. Hmm. Wow. Someone regrets the fact that they let something go without really stating their claim, confessing. Someone feels like they're really going to have to beg now. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more involved for another day.
I feel like this is someone who's waiting, but instead of accepting something, accepting the truth or being honest, someone is trying to manipulate the facts. Someone's trying to manipulate the facts because they're overthinking everything. This is someone who is overthinking an apology because they feel you're not interested. Someone needs instant gratification or someone is giving into instant gratification. Wow. Mm. <laughs> That's interesting because someone definitely wants validation. Someone wants attention. And whether they get that attention from you or some other situation, someone is definitely trying to numb their pain or trying to get away from the unfamiliar feelings that they feel. But I feel them wondering what you're up to or wondering what you're doing is definitely getting the best of them. And this is what's going to cause them to reach out. So, I definitely feel this is someone who didn't put in when it comes to a connection, a collaboration, a group, a teamwork. There's a lot of mixed signals or mixed emotions. Someone knows they screw something up, but someone is definitely confident. And if you ask me, they're overly confident, trying to set some type of trap for you. Someone feels like they can trap you emotionally. This is someone who initially thought that they could play games with your mind and heart, but I feel in some way, somehow, you have definitely made this energy a believer. I feel someone knows that you want a commitment. You want loyalty. You want someone you can count on, rely on. But I feel this is someone who is always wishy-washy with you, very confused when it comes to you and even life. This is someone who always handles things in a very immature way, but I feel they're about to reach out. And they could be on standby. Yeah. Someone's watching their phone. Someone knows at any moment you could reach out. They feel like that, but... I feel like here lately, they, that energy has faded. They feel like they're going to have to make a move. Too much time has passed. Mm. And they want to reach out, but they're still confused in some very immature ways. As I said before, someone is doing things to gratify, or there could be instant gratification for someone who is just trying to seek attention, validation. Even though they know they screwed something up. Someone knows they really screwed something up, but they don't want to take a downgrade. They're being strategic, trying to catfish you in some type of way. Someone's definitely trying to bounce back when it comes to a situation ship at one night stand or a false environment. Someone is watching their phone, waiting on you to reach out, wanting you to call. So for many of you, this is someone who expected you to reach out, but they want this instant val validation or gratification, and they're about to reach out instead. They feel like too much time has passed, and you may never see something the same if they allow too much energy to get in between the two of you someone knows something something needs to heal someone wants to heal something with you because they know that you will ride or die but they are sitting or living in a fantasy thinking something is possible if they're still disrespectful to you I feel this is someone who is still being disrespectful and in some type of way even if they're at a distance but it's only because they're trying to numb the pain of the fact that they do care or they miss you. Someone sits in a space where they're wondering what you're doing because you're not doing it with them. They feel like you're living your best life. Someone is wanting to drop text you. Someone feels like they're going to have to be under the influence to deal with what's coming their way to bounce back or make some type of call with you. Someone just might drop down you here. Do something very reckless. Needing the courage to give you a reason on why they misunderstood or ghosted you. Without warning, they blocked you. No contact. This could also be your energy here. If someone feels like you just gave up, that annoys them as well. So they're trying to flex. 
someone's either trying to flex and pretend like something hasn't changed or their life is really great but nothing has changed there's still a void in their heart and they're still taking losses yeah someone's in a space where they're having to people please here this is someone who is having to do some things that they wouldn't normally do just to stay alive survive or yeah community situations here hmm. someone regrets not calling you back hmm. someone regrets doing something in a very harsh way not reaching out just to affect you they had faith overly confident in the fact that they could just make something a misunderstanding someone gave into something else let's get some energy here I feel like this is someone who was just waiting on you to accept something. Now they feel like they are too, be, too busy people pleasing someone gave into community. As I said before, someone is definitely doing a lot of things to instantly gratify self. And they may be in a space where they're uncomfortable with the fact that you're working on self. Someone's a little uncomfortable with the fact that you are tuning into self. They know they sabotage something here with you by leaving you on red, never calling back, never texting back. But I also feel they did that on purpose as well. But I feel someone is now sitting in space of regret for not reaching out or not giving in. Because I don't know if many of you do know this, but they do call. They just do it from a different number, a private number. Someone is definitely calling you star 69. I don't know what that is, but someone is definitely blocking their number, calling you privately because they feel like you hate them because of how they sabotage something. They're kind of pissed. Someone is a little pissed that something backfired. Someone was trying to do some things to shut you out, to cause you to react or drive you crazy, but they feel like it only backfired. They regret leaving you on red because now someone feels like they're, they're going to have to beg or someone feels like you're never going to let them live it down. Someone just wants you to hear them out. But many of you just feel like they have a mouthful of lies. Okay. Someone is definitely gaslighting a situation. They have more than one situation. And this is why they have left something to mystery up until now. But I feel the fact that they feel like there's no more chances. And they should have never gaslighted you. Because something has changed. You have changed. You have definitely changed when it comes to your energy towards this energy. They know it. And this is why they're pissed. Giving into these moments of instant gratification is a space where they know it leads nowhere, but they still push into it. It's all they know. And they're living in a space of misery. Someone is miserable waiting for you to give them attention. As it seems they're waiting for you to break the silence and contact them. Not realizing your whole vibe has changed. Someone just has yet to realize your whole vibe has changed and they need to pick up their feelings when it comes to a toxic connection or relationship that they created. Because for many of you, you're clearly just not interested. And for others, you're interested, just not in the mess that they bring. However, I do feel for many of you, this is someone who carries a very heavy, unhealed hurt. And this is the very reason they move this way or the fact that they always have an attitude. They thought this was just going to be temporary. Someone thought this was just going to be a temporary break that you would always follow. You would always come back. But something has changed and they got it back. This is someone who wants what they can't have. I feel you pushed to fix something for a very long time. And this is someone who just never accepted something. They never accepted the truth. They never accepted your offer. Please take it how it resonates. They just gave into senseless ways of trying to numb the pain. I feel this is someone who 
is trying to bounce back within a situation. But they're not being honest with you and they're not being honest with self. They just want validation. They just want attention. Not realizing in the time they expected you to break, you only prove you can't be broken. Final core here is for you. You know, they're definitely in a mood. Someone definitely pushed you away or pushed you to make a choice. And they're a little upset about it because they know they can't justify how they treated you in the past. Never validating or caring about your emotions. Someone gave you little to no effort breadcrumbing a situation. And for many of you, you may have evidence of them being caught or caught up. Let's get another deck out here. Someone is definitely in a mood about something. Someone is wanting to resurrect something with you, but they feel like you just won't hear them out. Someone feels like they're going to have to be reckless. Mm. Or someone is just completely shocked that you're not reaching out or putting in the effort that you once did. Let's get some energy here. Mm. Mm. Someone's in their feelings. Um, so I'm going to say this two ways. Someone's in their feelings about... You not being a sneaky link or someone's in their feelings about a low-key situation, a side piece. Something that has no filter, someone thought they was a badass, but now they know they were sauced up and they fucked up because you didn't follow. I feel this is someone who is easily influenced and they're not an authentic, they're always sugarcoating other things or other people, but they're, that's a sense of saucing things up. This is someone who is believing they are intoxicating, but this is what makes them bold. This is what makes them feel entitled, believing that you would just follow or react in the way that they thought that you would. Someone thought without a shadow of a doubt that they could drive you crazy or cause you to react. Someone thought that they could provoke you to call. Someone thought that they could provoke you to be the problem. Someone wanted you to admit to being the issue. So... They don't have to clean up their own mess. But I feel them trying to get away with something strategically only blew up in their face because you didn't follow. So they got pity. Hmm. This is someone who has a very small mind and they can be very dramatic about a situation. But I feel someone who is very petty is now shocked at the fact that you did not send an SOS. Someone wanted you to be in distress so that they could assist or someone just wanted you to be all in your, your feelings. Mm. Wow. Someone thought that you were going to people please within a situation. Butter you up. Mm. Someone thought that you would easily be affected or someone could easily charm you. Finesse a situation. Or you would be in a space where you would want to people please or over give just to push past something, but the fact that you are not in your feelings and you're not thirsty, not seeking their attention or their validation, something is on pause and many of you are just not dealing with this at all. Someone's shocked by that. Now, they regret being petty or they could be acting petty because you're woke. You took a high road and now they're salty. Someone's really salty about the fact that they put you in a back burner or the fact that you're guarded to their trauma bonding, a toxic connection. Someone was repeating abusive cycles, making something or someone tough to love, sending mixed signals, hard fall. Someone's shocked at the fact that you are hard to reach. So they're doing some things out of coping a defense mechanism where someone is having a light bulb moment, a sudden realization that they push something too far, something to a breaking point, overwhelmed by someone doing something that makes something a last straw. There's a lot of evidence or receipts of someone wanting to bounce back from this, but it's all talk, it's all noise. This is the meaningless words of someone making empty promises. 
because the vibe has changed. Someone doesn't like the fact that things have changed between the two of you. Or they feel like you're just not in love or not in like the way that you used to. Because you're awoke, you're aware, you're cutting through an illusion, detaching from their energy because they were being petty, thinking that you were going to send some type of SOS. Now this energy is in hermit mode, or this energy feels like you're in hermit mode, having me time, retreating in solitude, sorting out your thoughts, and this energy is having heavy emotions, mental distress, and low vibes because of it. This is someone who thought that you would be swept up in the, up in the fact that they were gone. Someone thought that you would follow because of your intense emotions for them. But this is someone who was just not being authentic in a game they chose to play. Even though this energy is territorial, they're also a red flag. Because they have an anger issue or they're just acting out. A spiritual narcissist of someone who has a complex uh, ego or they just like to manipulate. They're always bullshitting. This is someone who is just not honest. Very flighty energy here of someone who could be on their rebound or trying to manifest. Someone is trying to manifest some type of time with you, communication. But so there's a delay because of the change, whether that is within your energy or theirs. Or the fact that you are fed up or see them as two-faced. Someone is wanting to escape or wanting to seek your attention, your validation. But I feel many of you are already woke to their games. Someone is definitely getting a taste of their own medicine. Or a player got played. But this is someone who thought that you were both playing this game. Someone thought that this was just a tit for tat. Or this is just what the both of you do. But someone's lost on the facts. Someone's lost when it comes to the truth. Because now I sense they're trying to come up with something to make something a misunderstanding. Mm. You know, someone's clearly wanting to make something a misunderstanding. They want you to be swept up in something. But in the meantime, this energy is still tapping into some very toxic addictions. Mm. Addictions that only cause them to want to reach out even more. I feel the more intoxicated or the more this energy goes down a very dark path, the more they think about you, the more they obsess about the fact that something didn't go their way. Someone deserted something and they were not sorry about it. This is someone who faked down on you deserted something they were very unreliable because they thought that you would always be swept up in something or you would follow but i feel this is someone who did something unapologetically someone did something when it comes to affairs of the heart and they were not sorry about it for many of you you feel like this is someone who lacks in a space of remorse they're very neglectful when it comes to responsibility but after all of that love, the help, the energy that was given and lost, now they're trolling you. Someone is trolling you and looking for a lucky break. This is someone who is looking for a lucky break after a time apart. But as I said before, the vibe has changed because many of you feel like this person cannot be changed. You can't believe what you hear, you're over it, you're frustrated, because this is someone who is always changing on you, and for others, you're dodging a bullet by avoiding, hmm, avoiding someone who is always finding a way to shatter your heart. This is someone who always finds a way to disappoint when it comes to the things that they say. This is not a, someone who is a, a person of their word, but someone does see you as a key player. Someone sees you as a, a key player, an important person, but this energy is still irresponsible. Something is definitely not 
as it seems, and someone's backtracking. Someone is backtracking into holding the truth. Someone is going back on the word, or someone is wanting you to go back on yours. But I feel you're about to do something savagely. I feel this is someone who low-key sent some digs here. Someone doesn't like the fact that you call them out, or they're trying to call you out. But there's a struggle here. Someone's trying to dismiss you in some type of way because they're going through some type of rough patch. Someone's going through a rough patch where it's very frustrating situation. Someone's going through some trying times that only lead them to think about something that is flatlined with you. Someone knows that they cause something to drift apart or they cause you to lose interest and they're wanting to pick something back up. Someone is wanting to bridge with you or bridge a gap. Close out the distance, but there's a lot of setbacks, losses. I feel hmm, rejection is your protection in this season where someone is still not keeping it real because they're still s sitting in a space of fantasy, believing their own lives or still s t trying to sell lies here. But this is someone who is still going to be a disappointment because they're still not being mature about their effort. I see many of you keeping something in check here when it comes to being chained to someone who is still being lawless and weighing you down. This is someone you feel is just an unhealthy attachment because of their mind games and manipulation of scare tactics and gaslighting you. Someone is just always being extra and always giving in to toxic influences, squads, never really giving a care about anyone else. This is someone who is always creating highs and lows, disregarding others, pretending to be unfazed, but someone is now tiptoeing around the fact that they are stubborn, narrow-minded, and sometimes faking it. This is someone who is wanting to keep tabs, but they feel like coming towards you, you're going to be too honest with your words. Something about your words could cut deep and they're wanting to tiptoe around the fact that they were being sneaky or throwing shade or avo avoiding you someone knows they got caught someone knows they can't make something a misunderstanding as well but i also feel like this is someone who's about to make a move because they feel like it's the only choice they have mm. As I said before, this is someone who's trying to come up with a way to make it all make sense. Their mistakes, losses, and all of the time they wasted by sending these low-key digs. As it seems they're only sorry for how they chose to do something instead of what they did. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot behind the scenes, not really wanting to expose a lot, but they feel like if they don't reach out, it just might be something they won't be able to forget or get over. They're struggling through something and it's attached to self-doubt. Questioning self-worth, this could be your energy or theirs, but someone is very ruthless, not really caring about anyone else's feelings. Now someone's in a space where they're wondering what's going on with you. But instead of accepting the truth of their reality, someone is still sitting in a space of fantasy. Make believe. Still not seeing the seriousness of a situation that is very delicate. Mm. Someone is still making choices that keep you in a space where you're shaking your head, wondering what they're thinking or wondering what they're losing. While many of you feel they deserve everything they're getting. I feel this is someone who created some type of shift. A shift within a situation that definitely lost control because instead of accepting the distance or the losses that they're taking, they're trying to shift some type of blame. So it seems like someone is trying to shift the blame to undermine or dismiss you into what they want you to think or what they want you to do but I feel this is someone who is still being very overbearing or impossible to deal with but they're still wanting to communicate with you page of, page of cops 
Someone is wanting to make an offer, but I feel it won't be without trying to manipulate here with the Magician card. With the Magician card and the positive energy, someone will be making positive choices, but this is someone who is still sitting in a fantasy and an illusion where they're still making disappointing choices. There is no abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel this is someone who shattered something that should have been legit, something that should have went the mile, yet instead someone was just not ready for you. I feel this is someone who feels trapped in some type of way, so they're going to make an offer. This could be containing to something that it keeps you connected or um, family, mm. affairs of the heart. Because of all the time that was wasted, someone is wanting to bring good news. Eight of Cups energy, someone knows they created a mess by walking away, avoiding the truth leaving something to mystery someone is wanting to come back or someone's just wanting to communicate again whatever the case it's going to come from a space of someone overthinking a situation someone's coming from a space of emotion when it comes to a heart-based decision Someone is on the fence when it comes to something that is unspoken when it comes to love because they can't find the strength or find their life. Someone is missing opportunities. 11-11. Um, someone is missing opportunities when it comes to laying down their roots, but I feel judgment is on its way. Judgment will cause an awakening when it comes to a tower. Something is being demolished. Mm. So I feel like there's a tower moment here. Someone created a tower moment by being distant or walking away. They're wanting to communicate to lighten their load. Mm. And they're wanting to remove some obstacles, but you're still dealing with the fool. There is a new phase, a new level here. But something is uncertain when it comes to something that is broken. A broken heart. A broken bond. Where there will be a harsh ending. To bury the past. Mm. I feel someone something needs to end, or someone someone needs to go through a harsh ending when it comes to their ego. Something about their past, or something about a dark side of them. It needs to die. It needs to end, or someone will be left out in the cold. This is definitely someone who has been playing hide and seek with you one minute they're there and then the next minute they are not. It's, but I feel it's due to an emotional storm where someone is clearly emotionally imbalanced. Here with the King of Cups energy, this is someone who has a longing, but they don't know how to deal with their pain. But I also feel justice will cause an awakening where... The Most High, their ancestors are assessing their actions. I definitely feel this is someone who misunderstood the assignment here. They let you down in a big way because they didn't understand themselves to give you what you needed. But I feel instead of tapping into their best self, someone is trying to undermine you or dismiss you into giving you what they feel they need or what they want. Because they're not, they're not tapped into their emotions. And they're always going to hide from you. Always send you on a chase. Always put you in a position where you feel like you are defending self. Defending position or trying to get their attention. Someone is definitely shocked at the fact that the tables have turned. Or they just might be getting a taste of their own medicine. Because someone is definitely not used to being in the energy that they're in with you. And this is why they're just wanting to make something a misunderstanding and just reach out, communicate, make some type of offer. But someone is still not taking something serious that is completely delicate. Something is serious. Something can has to be handled with kid gloves here. This is someone who just doesn't see that for what it is and this is why they're reaching out unhealed or pretending like something never happened or just being playful with you instead of being honest and serious. This is someone who is just not realizing the hold that they thought they once had on you no longer applies. Hmm. 
the time that they thought would heal you may have caused their plan to go awry. There is no change. Because someone is playing hide and seek with you. The past, the present, and the future has changed. By the pinnacles energy here, someone will be left out in the cold when it comes to you if they choose not to change. Because they're not realizing the truth in you. They could never realize the truth in themselves. Mm. Oh. For many of you, I feel like this is someone who made you feel they only pretended to care when in fact they were just afraid or too immature to fully commit to the process, to fully commit to being their best self. Mm. So they demolish something. They created a tower moment that only put them in a space of wreckage. Hmm. Waiting for the deaths to settle to create a new start. Ace of Pentacles, but I feel them reaching out, communicating will definitely be a sign for many of you. Hmm. So, it definitely looks to me someone is wanting to communicate, but and they're thinking about the possibilities of some type of balance. They're wanting some type of mutual exchange. There could be a peaceful phase here, but the worst is yet to come. Because I don't see what they're seeking as being an option. Because there may be a peaceful phase here, but... Someone is still not being true to self. They just feel left out. They want to be validated and they're really pissed. This is someone who just wants to reach out just to see if they still hold position. This is someone who wants to reach out just to see if the energy is still there. Someone wants to know if the feeling is mutual. But I feel they're relentless. They're wanting to relocate. But someone can't move forward. Someone can't move on. And this is why they're wanting to communicate. They're just not wanting to talk about the Seven of Swords. And that's their deception. Someone's wanting to communicate to have a fresh start. But I feel that's just wishful thinking. Nine of Cups. Someone needs to upgrade when it comes to their energy. But for now, I feel like just hmm, narrow-minded energy. Someone knows that you're sitting in high priestess energy, standing your ground. Someone is assessing their energy, or you could be assessing their energy. But someone knows that you see through something, but they're still being strategic. I feel someone's going to be strategic when they call, and this is why something isn't over. This could be the worst, or some type of tip or tat, touch and go. Someone reaching out and then ghosting you again. This is just someone who just wants to know if you still care. Deep down, they know they are not ready. This is someone who knows they can't give you what you want or what you need. But this is someone who is going to communicate just to see if you're still there. This is someone who is going to pretend everything's good. Someone's going to pretend everything is all good. And they're wanting your compassion. Queen of Cups. Mm. Someone's going to pretend everything's all good just to receive this unconditional love that you once gave. Empress energy as well as the Queen of Cups. Someone is wanting you to just give in. However, I do see you standing in Queen's energy, Empress energy. We have Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, as well as the Empress, Ace of Swords, and the Double Energy. It's coming out in the reverse. Someone knows you're brutally honest. You're not going to shade something. You're going to be very authentic with your energy, your love, and your words. If you are upset, it's going to be reading all over your face. You're not going to sugarcoat the truth, and they know it. This is someone who doesn't want your brutal honesty. This is why they're at a distance trying to make something up just to pretend like you didn't see or feel what you felt. But many of you know what you felt. Compassion is definitely what you do, but being a fool is not. I feel this is someone who wants you to stand for nothing because they fall for everything. But I feel Four of Swords is letting me know you're going to take care of yourself. Ace of Swords is letting me know you're going to cut through the fog and you're going to cut through the bullshit. This is someone who cannot fool you because they are fooled. This is someone who knows that you know your worth. And as long as they can't tame their inner demons or have the strength to bring some type of mental clarity, someone will never accomplish what they think they or what they feel they want to accomplish with you. Someone needs to master logic before they do so. But in time, 
and someone will find out some things in a very harsh way. Five of Swords letting, is letting me know you're going to do what's best for you. And that will definitely come in time. Hmm. I feel you're doing what's best for you because of what was given or not given within this situation. I feel someone knowing that they were reckless with your energy is definitely going to be a heavy load. As this is someone who thought that you would always be fully committed. Mm. But I feel you going through a transformation because of your disappointment or broken heart. Definitely put things on a different path. It definitely changed things. It definitely changed things when it comes to someone who is clearly immature. You definitely put this person in a, a position to be their best self. And now they are in a position to just wonder hmm, what could have been. I feel this is someone who knows the worst isn't over. Hmm. But they're still going to communicate. Not really saying that they are their worst enemy. Their biggest obstacle is themselves, which is unfortunate for them as you're no more no longer giving in to toxic things. You're no longer watering dead things. As I sense many of you are looking to receive the same energy that has been given. You're only feeding into things that feed you. I feel this is someone who just won't stand a chance if they can't show and prove as the games they play will make things unbearable and it just might make things final i hope you guys have enjoyed the reading